You can be a woodworker. I know you can do it because I did it and you can too. I know you're nervous to start. I know that you're nervous to try to sell projects because I was, I still am, I still get nervous about selling projects and hoping that the customer likes it, hoping that it lasts for the customer. I understand those anxieties that you have because I have them. I think a lot of woodworkers have that. I know you're nervous about being good enough, doing good enough work because I am. I still get nervous about that. I still get nervous every single time I post one of these build videos or one of these advice videos. I think it's perfectly natural. I think we all experience that. It's okay. We got this together. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today, we're going to talk about you. You can do it. You can be a woodworker and I'm going to tell you how. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon right next to it, and click all after you click bell icon. That'll get you notified every time I upload new content. I appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Let's get into this. So a lot of us get into woodworking either as a hobby, some way to relieve stress, or to sell some woodworking on the side to help you make a little bit of extra income. And that's how I got started. I wanted to make some extra income for me and my family. Uh, I got tired of being broke as a joke. I didn't have no money to take my wife on a date. I couldn't buy her no gifts. I couldn't buy myself anything. Couldn't get the kids anything extra other than what was coming out of my normal paycheck. And I, and I had a little bit of extra time on my hands because of the shift work I was working. So I started building things. I was sitting around the house one day, messing around on the internet, and I come across Jay Bates or his YouTube channel. I'll drop a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. I started watching his videos and he has an outdoor chair set. When I saw it, I knew I could build it. And I was fairly confident that I could sell it if I could make it good enough. And so to buy the lumber, I had a, another YouTube channel called Monitoring Reviews. It's like a scanner channel, radio scanner channel. I used to be big into those. And if you watch some of those early videos, I was so nervous about being on camera, I wouldn't even talk on them. They, all they are is just videos of that radio. Anyway, that channel got monetized early on before they changed the rules on how many subscribers you had to have and all that. So it would pay like $300 a year. Once it hit $100, it would send me a check. So I got a check for like a hundred and some odd dollars. I took that money and bought enough two befores, two before, two before, two before. I bought enough two befores to make Jay Bates outdoor chair set. Put that for sale, the rest is history. That's how I started. The reason I started was to make money. That's why I started woodworking. It was something I enjoyed and I could make money on the side doing it. What would an extra $100 do for you this week? Or an extra $500 for the month or $1,000 this month? If you're in the same boat I was, $100 in a week was huge. Hey, I understand, I've been broke as a joke. When my wife and I first got married, oh my goodness. <laughs> we were broke and that ain't no joke. Like paycheck to paycheck. Back in the day, you used to write a check for something on Thursday, if you were getting paid on Friday, write it on Thursday night. It wouldn't get to the bank till the middle of the day Friday and you could beat that check to the bank with your paycheck. Now, I'm not saying my wife and I did that when we bought groceries on Thursday night, but I'm saying we did that a lot. I know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck. It's hard, it's a struggle, but looking back, man, it's just like, <laughs> I know it was a struggle. It was just our life and I say broke, in a relative term. I know that there's people out there that have nothing and I've been blessed so much through my life. I've never went without a meal. We were financially struggling with bills, kids, home, food. I mean, but we never actually went hungry. So I, I don't wanna minimize that fact that there's a lot of people living in poverty. In our perspective, the way we were seeing things was we were broke. We we're living paycheck to paycheck. We bought groceries on Thursday with a check that wasn't gonna be good till the next day. It never bounced because the paycheck went in Friday morning and then it was covered. So we always wait on Thursday. We ate good on Thursday. I was making 18 dollars a year working for a fire department in a very small town. It was a full-time department. Only had four employees, three firefighters, one chief, and then the rest were volunteers. We made nothing. And the guy that retired ahead of me had been there for like 26 years or something and he was making nineteen dollars $1,000 more a year than I was. So Fred's is like a little dollar store type in the South. I don't know if they have them up north or not, but we bought a table that was like a hundred bucks. And at the time, a hundred bucks was huge, like a hundred dollars. Man, if you spent a hundred dollars on something, you was, man, there's no doubt, you spending some money. And so it was no small feat to go to Fred's and spend a hundred bucks. But we went and bought a table and chair set, four chairs, one table. We had got a new house, moved in, and we didn't have a kitchen table. So we, <laughs> we went to Fred's and got this table. You had to bolt it together. It was metal legs, a little wood top. If I can find a picture, I'll drop it in the video here. This thing was so small, 
we was kind of cramped around it. But to this day, we talk about that table, how proud we were to get that table and sit around that thing. Just good times, man. My wife saved up one time and bought a rug for 50 bucks. And to this day, she talks about how saving up for that rug. It got ruined the day she bought it by one of our kids using the bathroom on it. But we know what it's like to struggle and have to save your money up to buy things that you want or to buy things for your family, or try to buy food for your family. It's a struggle. That's where woodworking can come in. You can make a little bit of extra money on the side with this business. You just gotta wanna do it. And you can't do it if you don't start. You have to start. Even if it's simple project like the Chevrons or the Lazy Susan, I'll drop a link in the description below to those two build. It's in the same video, two very simple builds that anybody can do with basic tools. You can borrow the tools. You don't have to buy tools. Borrow them from your neighbor, from your family, from your friends. You can borrow the tools that you need. That's what I did, borrowed a saw and two drills, get you a square. It's really all you need to start building very basic projects. I just want to encourage you to get out there and start building things. You, you can make some good money woodworking on the side. It's just going to take some time to build up your business. It's not going to happen overnight for most people. If you understand that it's not going to happen overnight, that it's going to take some time for you to learn your craft. It's going to take some time for you to build a customer base, but it's never going to happen if you don't start. All you need is a few tools and some want to. That's it. You just got to want it. If you want to make a little extra money on the side and you want to be able to build projects, just get out there and build them. If it's made in wood, it's not set in stone. My wife come up with that. That's an awesome quote. If it ain't no good, throw it away. If it ain't no good, rebuild it. It's okay. Let's say you build something. It's ugly. Wood burns, right? Just build your fire and roast some marshmallows, man. It's okay. You can build it again. It's gonna take some money. Yeah. Hey, I know. I have burnt a lot of stuff in the backyard. I made a couple of chairs one time. They were ugly. That's where they went. They got burned up. It just happens. I have put together projects and they were all wonky and wouldn't work right. I burned them, take the screws out, throw them on the burn pile. It happens to every single woodworker. There's not a woodworker that has ever woodworked that hasn't messed something up and had to throw it in the pile. Just how it is. However, for the most part, if you start out simple with small projects, those projects 99% of the time are gonna come out much better than you ever anticipated. But I'll bet that if you try it, you'll probably surprise yourself. I have surprised myself time and time and time again on what I was able to accomplish just getting out here and trying to figure things out and just build it. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself and let's get it done. Remember, if you're just starting out, just start with small projects. Rome wasn't built in a day. The phone or computer that you're using to watch this video wasn't made by some single person who woke up one day and just made it. The people who design and make these items work for years learning how. They lean on other people to teach them how to do certain things to get to that point. Woodworking is no different. It may take you years to be able to build big pieces of furniture. It may take you months depending on how much you're building, but don't let that stop you from starting. I'll drop a link in the description below to the beginner woodworking project playlist. Take that playlist or take those two quick projects with the simple tools that you either borrow or buy and start making stuff. And with that in mind, I'll drop a link in the description below with a couple of basic tools you can start with and then work your way up from there. If you're trying to build a business out of this woodworking, start slow. Be patient, that's the hardest thing to do. It's hard to be patient and wait for something that you want so bad. It usually comes slow to most of us, but just try to enjoy the process. Remember when you're posting items for sale, I have a video I'll link in the description below about selling your woodworking items and how to best do that. It may take time to sell your first few projects. That's okay. It may take a week, a two, three. Be patient. You may have to relist them or list them in other places. Check out that video. I explain how to sell your woodworking. Once your projects start selling, you're gonna start making more and more items. You're gonna start getting requests for custom orders. That's what you want. You get some custom orders. You price those items. I have a pricing video you can check out. And then you'll start building your business from there. If you're really serious about woodworking and want to build a business out of it, once you start getting orders and get comfortable building things, you may want to think about diversifying your income streams so that you have more than just that income stream coming in, such as a YouTube channel. If you're interested in how to make a woodworking YouTube channel, drop a comment below and I'll make a video about it in sometime in the future. It doesn't matter if you have no video experience. If you got a phone, you can make videos. That's how I started out. You can look at some of my early videos. They were awful that's okay. I don't know that these are much better. But at the same time, you just have to put yourself out there and that's the hardest first step. Just do it. You have to just do it. You may have to make 50 terrible videos before you start catching on to how to do this. It's okay. It's a process. But once you have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours currently, 
Uh, that's YouTube's guidelines. You can monetize your channel. The money that comes in from that channel will be extremely low at first, unless your channel just skyrockets overnight and then you get like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and then you can bring in more money. But at first, don't expect that you're gonna retire from it, cause you ain't. Also, you can diversify your income streams by starting an Etsy channel. I have a video on that, on how to sell on Etsy if you wanna check that out. You can start selling projects on there and not just locally. That gets you online. That gets you another way to get orders coming in so that you can make more money. One thing I am absolutely certain about is if I can do this, you can do it. I know that I've been blessed with this space to be able to woodwork in. This is a two car garage. Not everybody's gonna have that. But I get pictures and messages on Instagram all of the time. You can follow me on Instagram right there at 731 Bullwork. Send me some messages. I will reply to everyone. Show me what you're building. I want to see it. But I get messages all the time with people who say, hey, I don't have a place to woodwork. So I roll my tools out of the shed every day or out of the carport every day onto the driveway or in the backyard. So I've made this in the backyard or I made this in the driveway. You can do it if you want to. You gotta want to. If you don't have want to, you're not gonna do it. It's just how it is. I mean, it's been proven time and time again. Uh, people who want to lose weight, they know the formula. Eat right, exercise, you lose weight. If you wanna learn a new skill, study and start doing it. You'll learn the new skill. If you wanna learn how to program a computer, you can learn to do that if you really want to. If you wanna learn a new language, you can do that if you really want to. We as humans know the formula. We know that you have to study and do, study and do. That's how we learn and how we do things. It's been proven time and time and time and time and time again over history. If you wanna do this, just do it. You gotta do it, go start. I know you can do it. Don't let this keep you from building awesome projects because you can do it. Right here will make you or break you. You can get in your own mind. You can, I mean, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. What if it's not good enough? What if they don't like it? We all, every single one of us at some point have gone through that with something. I don't care who you are. Nobody is born with 100% confidence that they can do every single thing they've ever set out to do. It don't happen. I'm not a professional. I don't do this for a living as far as woodworking full time. I started simple and I worked my way up from there. To this day, there's still projects, uh, lots of projects that I don't feel comfortable tackling. But the type of projects on this channel are made for people just like you. I get messages daily about people who make these things and they're like, wow, I didn't think I could do that. You can do it. Once you get into this and you start building more things, there's things on this channel that I never dreamed that I would be able to build or even have the capability of trying to build it. We are capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for most of the time. You can do this. Get out there and start building. That's the only way you're gonna do it. You have to start. You can't just sit there and wish or think or want to do it and never start. If you don't start doing it, it's never gonna happen. Just try. Never know unless you try. Work hard for something that you want. And I mean really, really work for it. If you want something, you're gonna work for it. That's true in every part of life. If you want that degree from college, you're gonna work for it to get it. If you want that job, you're gonna strive extra hard to do everything you can to set yourself up to get that job. You'll be calling everybody you know that is even associated with that type of work trying to figure out how to do that. So woodworking's no different. That's why you're watching this video. You wanna know if you can do it or you wanna know what you can do, or you wanna to try to figure out every step you can to figure out if you can do this, I'm telling you, you can do it. We can do whatever we set our mind to. So get out there and make some sawdust. I'm no expert. Go watch some experts and figure out how an expert does it. This is how I've done it and it's worked for me. I build simple projects. I don't build any giant complicated projects for the most part. There are some projects on here on this channel that have taken me some time to build up to, but starting out, you'll look back on this channel. If you look at those very early videos, everything was very basic. I sold almost every one of those projects. And the ones that I didn't sell are in my home that were built for our home. So I know that there's a customer base out there for these type projects. What pricing you can get for those depends on your area, but I do have a pricing video on the channel if you wanna go check it out. There's a make money woodworking playlist that'll be linked in the description below that goes through the details of the woodworking business from my point of view. Go check it out. I have not built this business on my own. I've had an amazing amount of support from my wife. I've looked up numerous times over the years and saw her right there in that door, looking out here watching me. Whether I'm out here making a video, she's not there right now, you can stop looking. Whether I'm out there making a video, or out here woodworking, I can see her up there. She's been out here with me sanding, she's helped me package things. I mean, most of the ideas or the designs on this channel, she's come up with. She has been absolutely amazing to have as a wife and to have as a partner in this business. My dad actually bought me the planer you see over there for a birthday one year. So I've had an amazing amount of support in this. If you have family support, that's huge. Thank them, they deserve it. If you don't, if you're single 
or you don't have support from your family, whatever the case may be, you have Instagram, you have the woodworking community on there, you have this YouTube channel, you can drop a comment below. You, you can shoot me a message on Instagram. If you need pricing help, if, uh, if you have questions, you need advice about woodworking, message me on Instagram or drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help you. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more videos like this. We do build videos of awesome projects using basic tools. If you like this video and this type of video, go ahead and click that box right there. Take you to a playlist on how to make money woodworking, start to finish. Also share this on your social media. If you click that box right there, I'll give you the virtual fist bump. Don't forget to check the description down below. I've got some more videos that you're gonna to wanna to check out if you wanna get started woodworking.